What's up guys, this is Ben with iTech Triad, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put Android 4.4 KitKat on your Galaxy Nexus. Now before we get started, I just want to show you that I am running this on a Verizon Galaxy Nexus that is currently running Android 4.3. The procedures will be slightly different in the way of files for the Sprint model and the International variant, but you will get the basic idea of how to install from here. Now you're going to need two file folders, which I have here on my desktop, and you're going to need to drag them over into your Galaxy Nexus internal storage. You can put them wherever you want, but I just put them in the root because they're easy to find when I'm flashing them. Now you're also going to need Clockwork Mod Recovery, which if you don't know how to install that, it's pretty easy, and I'll leave a tutorial link below. But in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to flash the ROM and the gaps needed to use Android 4.4 KitKat on your Galaxy Nexus. These files are specific to Toro, but I'll try to leave links below for other variants of the file. Now, as you can see here, I am running a custom ROM, but I'm going to show you how to boot into recovery no matter which ROM you are on, including the stock ROM. First, you're going to power off your device, and once it is completely powered off, you're going to hold down the power button and both buttons on the volume rocker. Once you've done that, after a couple seconds, you'll see this screen, which is the Android bootloader. You're going to want to press volume down both into recovery mode. Once you're in recovery mode, you're going to see Clockwork Mod Recovery, which I'm hoping you've already downloaded and installed. If you haven't, then again, I'm going to leave a link below to a tutorial on how to do that. So once you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're going to be flashing two files, a ROM and gaps, but you're also going to have to clear, wipe the memory on the device. This is not going to wipe any backups, which I do suggest you make because this is a highly unstable ROM. You're going to want to hit yes once you've chosen to wipe data, and then you're going to wipe the cache. And both of these are going to take a second. I've cut out the time in between. So now you're going to go into install zip, and you're going to um, go into your root folder. You're going to go up, and this is the touch version, so you'll be able to do this touching, but I just do it with the keys because it's a little easier for me. And then you're going to install the ROM first. It's going to take a second. Cut out the time in between, of course. Next, you're going to go back into the same place, and you're going to install the gaps. Both of these are going to take a little while, but they trust me, they're worth the wait because you're going to have KitKat in just a second. So here, you're going to go back, and you're going to reboot the system. The initial boot up, in my experience, takes approximately two minutes. If it takes any longer than that, you're probably going to want to pull out the battery and flash the ROM and the gaps once again. Now of course I am cutting out the time of the initial boot up just to save time in this video but it is again going to take about two minutes and once you've booted up you're going to see this screen that's you know you've seen it before it's the startup screen when you first get an Android device but now you're running KitKat. Now again I hope you made a backup of your older ROM because this ROM is not very stable, but it is a good taste of what you're going to see in the future from CyanogenMod and Paranoid Android in the way of a KitKat ROM. Now here I'm going to select my wife. I'm just going to go through the setup process. And I'm just going to tell you one more time that I am leaving links down below to both the ROM and gaps as well as the version of Clockwork Mod Recovery that you're going to need in order to flash these. If you're running another recovery such as TeamWin, you're probably not going to be able to flash this because they have not updated it as the time of recording this video for Android 4.4 KitKat ROMs. Now while I'm still going through the setup process and I'll show you a little bit of the operating system, I'm just going to tell you that this ROM, while a little unstable, actually works fairly well. There's no data issues in my experience, which was on 3G and some 4G. And also the launcher works fine, as well as the OK Google. SMS worked fine. The first time I tried it, it didn't work that great, but that's because I switched back to Paranoid Android very quickly. Of course, I'm not using this as my daily driver because I need something a little bit more stable. So I've been using uh, Paranoid Android 4.3, and it works great, but you know, this is very fun. It's just very fun to try out KitKat on a Galaxy Nexus, which technically is not supported anymore. Okay, Google. What's the weather today?
Now you're probably wondering why am I showing you Google Now? Obviously it works because it's a Galaxy Nexus. Well the reason I'm showing it to you is because I want to show you some of the graphical errors that this ROM has. As you can see in a second here, when I launch Google Now and I search something, when the search results come out, sometimes most of my screen will go blank. That's just one of the graphical errors. Sometimes when you turn the screen off, you'll see little lines all over the place. When you rotate the screen especially, the entire screen almost looks like static. And that's just some of the errors that you're going to expect with a ROM that is unofficial and has no support at all from Google. Previously, ROMs, you know, they had some support from Google because the phone was technically supported still. So here I'm going to go into the settings and show you the new Easter egg in KitKat, but also the fact that this ROM is rooted. So you have super user access as soon as you flash it. You don't have to flash anything else with this ROM. One of the other major errors in this ROM that basically keeps me from using this as a daily driver is the fact that it reboots on its own sometimes, or freezes when it's on a screen. As you'll see towards the end here, I went, tried to go into the settings, as I, you're seeing I am in now, and when I did, the entire phone just froze up, and I could not get it to stop. I basically had to take the battery out and reboot again, and when I rebooted, I ended up just restoring a backup of Paranoid Android, because it's more stable. So, I give you these, this information of how to flash this, but I'm giving you a warning that you really need to make a backup of either a CyanogenMod mod ROM or Paranoid Android or even the stock ROM if that's what you're using because this ROM is just not stable enough to use for daily use. It's more of just, hey, I have KitKat on my Galaxy Nexus, which is not supported anymore. Just like people who still have a Galaxy S3 and they have a 4.2 Jelly Bean because Samsung still won't update it. So that's basically the point of this ROM. Alright, so that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, but also remember that all the links you'll need are down below in an article on our website. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button as it helps us out a lot, and also subscribe to the channel to catch more content just like this. And we'll see you in the next one.